Hello, this is Daniel Salazar, Peru Country Manager. I'm here with the Miller family. <clears throat> we are the Human Development uh, Department at the Miraflores Municipality in Lima. And we just wanted to ask them about their experience here. So, uh, guys, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Irene Miller, and uh, I am Hannah's mom. Uh, I'm Hannah Miller. <laughs> Uh, my husband is Edward Miller, and my other daughter is Grace Miller, and we are from Long Island, New York. Right. Um, I want to ask you guys, how did you decide to volunteer abroad? Uh, well, I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a family uh, volunteer trip. I just, you know, I wanted to take a vacation with my family that was meaningful. And I wanted to uh, learn about, I wanted them to learn about another culture. So um, I started researching it, uh, looked on the internet, and uh, I narrowed it down to several different organizations. And um, I just really read up on them, and I, I felt like I could relate to global volunteers, um, what their mission was and what their focus was, which was on the children of the different communities. So I felt that we could relate to that as a family, and that's why we chose. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best way to volunteer, like, and travel, because when you um, volunteer while you travel, it's like you get to know the community, like, like actually, when people say, oh, they're traveling just to see the community, like they just go to the tourist sites. When you're volunteering, you like really see the community and learn the culture and stuff, and it's just the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, uh, can you guys tell me what are you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> we're, do um, we're putting on the security stickers for the library books and the uh, barcode scans, mm -hmm. helping out the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, just organizing and <coughs> creating a system in the library mm -hmm. for people to check out books and find books and things like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, uh, what have you been doing uh, generally as, as volunteers in, in Peru? Um, well, we've been doing a variety of projects just to kind of adjust the different, um, I guess, uh, needs of my family, you know, what what works best for all of us. Um, my husband is doing more maintenance type of projects on the buildings, such as painting and repairing. Uh, I myself have been working with the elementary school children and some older uh, people in the community teaching conversational English through games, um, activities, and books and things like that. Um, my youngest daughter, Grace, she's 11, um, and she's been working alongside with me in the classroom. And Hannah uh, did some classroom work. Yeah, I was, I was doing the classroom in the morning, and then um, yesterday we came all day to the library because we were organizing the shelves by genre. Um, and then, like in the mornings, we got small groups of like five or six kids, and just like doing basic English games, like I had bingo going with like they had to. Um, I told them word the word in English, and they had to find it on the bingo board. Um, it's it kind of changes uh, based on what the needs are. Yeah. So you know we could start the day thinking that we're going to be doing one thing, but it could change just based on you know a teacher being absent or you know. Uh, you know, just what's happening at the school for that day, what room is available or whatever. So you kind of have to go into it with that flexibility in mind and you have to kind of roll with the punches. But um, I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how do you think this is helping the community? Um, well, personally, um, I think that, um, I think it's kind of uh, bringing a different we're bringing our culture to them, so they're learning another culture. I think they're learning um, another language, um, and I think uh, it's it's just um, you know for for right now we're in a community center. We're helping uh, 
repair and fix the community center. And yeah. I think it just sends a message of just worldwide peace that um, I feel is important, um, you know, for them viewing us coming here. Um, I think it helps. That people care and want to help. Yeah. Like they're not. I think it makes a difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Any stories you have? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, overall, I, I, you know, we we went into the school, and um, I, I just want to say myself that they, the children, they don't have much. You know, we come from a very materialistic society. We have a lot of things. Especially the children, they don't have much, but they have a lot of love to give. And I think, um, you know, we've experienced that. We've only known them for a couple of days, and we're leaving, and the one girl is crying, and they are hugging and kissing <laughs> us. And, um, oh, and the one boy, his name was Adrian. Um, he had Down syndrome, and the first day I only saw him for like about an hour and a half. Um, I, he, was, he said it was cold, I gave him my jacket, and then the last day, which was today, I didn't see him all week, um, he just comes like running, he just comes like running up to me, and was like, bye, adios, adios, and it was so cute. Mm -hmm. They had this giant party today where they gave us like this big send off, and they were serving the children soda, and uh, they, they uh, you know, all said, we love you, goodbye. It was like 300 kids or something, so it was very moving. And uh, I felt like it made a difference and it, it showed them that we care about them, that they mean something to mm -hmm. us. And I think, you know, as much as uh, they got something out of it, I think we got something out of it as well. Mm -hmm. And besides, it also was a good bonding experience for my family, and we also got to meet some good friends. So, uh, and make good friends too. And our team leader was also excellent, Maru. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for your service. Bye bye. Thank you.